Well, tonight I just must watch The Forbidden Kingdom, and, and of course, it stars Jackie Chan and Jet Li with supporting, supporting stars uh, Liu Yifei and Michael Angarino. Even though this is for kids and it's more like a Disney Channel original movie than a Lionsgate production, I'm just going to have to read the plot to you. Who, individually, they starred in the most adrenaline-pumping martial arts adventures ever. Together for the first time, Jackie Chan, Jet Li and Jackie Chan join forces is, is to, to create the greatest epic of them all, the Forbidden Kingdom. As ancient Chinese warriors, they must train and mentor a 21st century kung fu fanatic who's been summoned to fight a centuries-old battle and free the imprisoned Monkey King. If your fight is over, the team is ready, the kingdom has arrived. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was one of those 2000s uh, kids movies, movies that, that, that had a, a distinct audience. I mean, think about it. This was the starting point for Liu Mei, having now seen Mulan. I'll review Outcast next time. I mean, she's pretty much the Chinese version of Natalie Portman, much in the same way how with uh, Power Rangers, Aladdin, or what I'm going to do with, uh, you know, Lemony Mouth, where... Naomi Scott, to me, is like the Middle Eastern version of uh, Daisy Ridley. She's the Indian version of Daisy Ridley, even though she has the same accent. But this movie was good enough for what it is. Is I mean, I mean, I mean it was produced by Yen Wu Ping, who did, did all the the action scenes, and, you know, I mean, this is directed by Rob Minkoff of Lion King fame, and there were some other stars, like, Lee Ding Ding from uh, Transformers 4, which, gotta say, it couldn't come close to Rogue One when it comes to, like, like, Chinese-themed theme entries in a pop culture property, and, and then... You know, you have a Colin Chow, uh, you know, sour from the Matrix sequel since he is good friends with a uh, Yan Wu Ping. I mean, I looked up that he was in some of Liu Yifei's movies from, you know, China. Uh, that that's pretty much uh, all I can say. I mean, I mean, I mean. The movie does say it's the best martial arts epic ever made, so it should be. And an interesting uh, little note, the soundtrack is done by David Buckley with additional music by Harry Craig's and Williams, and, you know, who just composed Mulan 2020, so I guess some of the Mulan soundtrack can be heard here. And another uh, interesting topic is that the movie begins in ends in Boston, you know, when the Michael Angarino kid wha was at first, he, he, he's dreaming about Kung Fu, and then he knows Kung Fu, and you know, Jackie Chan's character is somehow a living legend, this drunken master to be exact, and you know, Lee Mei's character, uh, at the end of the movie, she works at a Chinese uh, cup shop, but instead of killing her off, off, why not bring her to present day? And turns out it was Golden Sparrow the whole time and not, oh, she looks exactly like her. Bottom line, this movie is great. Go watch it if you had the chance and... If you do, and if you have kids, uh, this is going to be alright. It, 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 it's fine. Like I said, there's not much to say, but overall, I actually liked it. I'm actually going to give it like maybe a 6 out of 10.